What is up guys, Joe Holland here. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, we offer a hearty and heartfelt good morning. Good morning to you. Thanks for tuning in today. We're in for a super treat. You guys are in for a treat too, because what we're doing today is we're making Donnie donuts. That's what I call them. Donnie and I go on a camping trip every year and he really pulled out all the stops this year and made homemade camp donuts for me that were incredible. They were on my last series of videos and we got so many questions and comments about the recipe and how he makes them and the history of the recipe that we just decided we're gonna shoot a video for you guys and answer all those questions here. So stay tuned. Donnie's gonna walk you through how he makes his homemade donuts. Here we are in, in uh, my house in Jefferson, Maine on our video. I think it was day number three on our trip going down the west branch of the Penobscot. I cooked some donuts. People that have watched that video have made a lot of comments and questions. And so we're here to recreate the donut cooking process. My old recipe, I think you saw this <laughs> on, the, on, on the other video. But this is my recipe for donuts. And I keep it in my wallet, head in there for years. As you can see, it's pretty well worn. You'd think I could remember it. I've, you know, done it so many times, but my memory's fading in my old age. <laughs> so I have to, have to keep it. But I, I laid out, and I can't remember what cookbook that I got this out of. It was an old time cookbook, but I laid out here on the table some cookbooks Old times, there's one here from 1949, there's one here, I can't remember what, I think 1975, this one might have been, 1975, but these cookbooks were made by people, and I'm sure in other towns other than Jefferson, small towns, uh, there's like three, this one, was made here in Jefferson by the Historical Society. This one was made in Jefferson by the Women's Club. This one was made by St. Giles Episcopal Church in Jefferson. One from Belfast, one from uh, Nobleboro. The organizations in small towns would make cookbooks to raise money for different things. In one of these cookbooks, I got my recipe. But I wanted to show you this. this. I came across this one in my mother's house. And she had made these this recipe book for all her grandchildren. I think she gave it to them maybe at Christmas time or something. Of all her, and the grandchildren called a Mimi. Yet she made up this cookbook of all recipes that she really like cooking. I mean, she was a fabulous cook. And I also found this one, which I thought was quite unique. My mother, this is my father. She made this cookbook for my father and wrote down recipes that of things that he really liked. Sour cream pie. That's an old timer and that's delicious. And, and so if you ladies out there want to make something special for your man, this is what my mother did for her man. So I know that's kind of a sexist <laughs> remark, but I had to put it in, you know. <laughs> so we're going to, on this trip, we're going to use lard to fry our donuts in. Lard isn't really good for, for the heart. It really clogs up the arteries, but it really has a unique and great taste. Normally I use vegetable oil, which is a little better, but this time I want to use the lard. Lard is rendered pig fat. And when you slaughter a pig, you get of course a lot of fat, which would be normally waste to a lot of people. But when I grew up, we used the fat, we salted the fat down and made salt pork. And we had it in a crock pot. We put it in chunks, put a layer of salt on, put another layer of, la of a fat, filled up the crock pot and let it sit in the cellar for a year or whatever. Lard is made by rendering that fat 
and you do it by heating, putting ch small chunks of the fat in a pan on very low heat, melts it down, you run it through a strainer to get any impurities out, you know, like pieces of meat that might be on the fat and so forth, and uh, then you pour it into containers for use later, and it solidifies like this, and uh, makes, and it was used a lot in cooking before, you know, cooking oils were available. But this time we're going to use some lard, so I got to get a knife here to <coughs> cut, cut the fat. Cut the fat, yeah. I got two pounds of it, hopefully that's going to be enough to float some donuts in. Imagine. this melt down. As you can see I got a thermometer this year. It doesn't like camping out like we did up north. I didn't have a <laughs> thermometer. I just kind of guessed at temperatures. And you can guess pretty well by putting a piece of the dough, you know, donut in the fat if it floats to the top or whatever. And But we want to have it between 350 and 375. Okay, we're here in front of all the ingredients, I've pre-measured out some of them. I've pre-measured out four cups of flour. And I have two eggs, which I'm going to beat. I have a cup of sugar. I have some salt. Some baking soda. And some Bakewell cream. Now, the recipe normally calls for baking powder. But I like Bakewell cream. It's a product made here in Maine. Uh, I don't know if it's distributed outside of Maine or not, but the local big uh, stores have it. It makes great biscuits. If you want to make a great biscuit, you want to use this stuff. It, it does, the recipe is right on the can. And when you use it for other things, such as donuts or cakes or whatever, you have to do some substituting. Normally, you know, if you used regular baking powder, you know, you'd put that in, you wouldn't need the baking soda and so forth and so on. But this one, if you use it for things other than biscuits, you have to do a little interpolation here. If you were using a teaspoon of baking powder, you have to use two thirds of Bakewell cream and one third teaspoon of baking soda as a substitute. So that's what I have done. I've pre-measured out a bunch of this stuff. I have a cup of sugar, I have a half a, a teaspoonful of salt, baking soda, and Bakewell cream. I used King Arthur all-purpose flour on bleached flour. I have Crisco, uh, which I have melted, which will go into it. A cup of milk two eggs beaten, and then we will proceed to mix all this stuff up. So I mix the first of it to the eggs. pretty good on those. Uh, now I'll put in a cup of milk. I kind of keep all the liquids together and then I add the dry ingredients. A cup of milk. Whole milk always for that one? Whole milk or you know half and half. If you, normally I would put in pure vanilla and I'm still going to put just a dab in but I want to add something this time that I never have added before it might give it a little bit different flavor I'm going to put in homemade maple syrup and I think that'll give it a little a little different flavor yeah I have a bunch of maple trees so in the spring I collect sap and have it boil down and 
get quite a bit actually. Well that's that's from my wood lot. I have the shotgun melted and you could use lard for this rather than vegetable oil. I just have the vegetable oil. Uh, I'm going to add that to the liquid and I'm going to add the sugar to the liquid and stir that in. I'm going to add the salt to the flour, the baking soda, and the Bakewell cream. And I'm going to put in a little nutmeg. Cinnamon. You don't measure that, you just kind of No, guess. I just, just throw it in, you know, like, you know, the old recipes, they used to say, put a pinch of this in or a pinch of that, so that's, that's a good size pinch I just put in there. I want to mix that in really well. So I got this pretty well mixed up, and I'm going to add the liquid to it. in. Make sure that gets mixed in really well. Joey, you want to check the temperature on that lad? 325 exactly. Okay. What do you want it at? Well, well, we'll start out at 350, but it might, it might take 375 to do it. Okay. Now I'm going to put a little flour, sift a little flour on here, to put the dough on it. Seems to be mixed in pretty well. How many donuts do you think that'll make, Donnie? Boy, I can't remember how many how many we had up. I think on. we had like 16 or so, maybe. Was it that uh, much? It depends really what size, I guess. Yeah, I really can't remember. They disappeared pretty quick. Yeah, they, they were disappearing that. faster than we could count. All right, all right. Well, I'm just kind of kneading in the a little bit of the flour. I'll roll it out here. Don't want it quite as sticky as I had it. And I'll flour the rolling pin, which will help it from sticking. And I usually roll this out to about a half inch thick. Okay, we'll try that. Now I got, this was the donut cutter I used when I was up camping. I found this one. Handles broke off it. <laughs> but I think it'll work just fine. A little bigger? A little bigger and uh, we'll see how it works out. A little more 
the flower on the end, just to kind of Take the donut hole and I try it in the fat and just see how that's coming along. But I think it's not quite hot enough, Joey. Okay. So we got to get up. Yeah, we're yeah we like it 325. I'm going to turn the heat up just a whisker. If the fat isn't hot enough, it soaks up a lot of grease. Okay. And that's what you really don't want. If it gets too hot, then the outside of the donut cooks too fast, and the inside is still not cooked. So it's kind of kind of critical that you get the temperature just about right. So we're just under 350. Put one of these in, and we're up to about 350 on the temperature. So we'll see how that does. Came right up to the top. Yeah. So we'll keep them on this side for like a minute, a minute and a half. Then flip it and see what it looks like. Nice shape. Yeah, looks like the donut hole is getting smaller and smaller yeah. as it's growing. Well, let's let's flip it and see what the hell looks like. Wow, doesn't look too bad. It looks pretty amazing. I hope it's good. I think you ought to keep practice on this. Every week? Yeah. Till I get it right? Yeah, keep going. I think probably we'll try that. So I'm going to put them on here first. And Those came out nice. Huh? Nick, I hate for you to be the guinea pig, but oh, no. <laughs> you've got a it's hot. You might want to wait on it. Let me get you a napkin. Hold yep. on one sec. There you go. We just want to make sure they're cooked inside and that they're edible. It smells. Good. Uh, too hot? Coffee? Yeah, I think it's too hot. I'm, I'm, I don't it, want. It might be too hot, Donnie. Just try it out. This is the first one. Wow. Did it cook? All right. That's a good donut, Donnie. <laughs> <laughs> is that all? Yeah. Well. Oh, look at people are coming in to try these donuts. Come on in. 
Donnie, they're beating the path down to your oh door. Oh my word. I changed my nine. That's the worst donut I've ever had. Keep trying, right? <laughs> come on in. Come on in. Hey, yeah, yeah. Have, that was no good. You guys don't want any. Where the hell are the donuts? Yeah, where the hell are the donuts? Where the hell are the donuts? Donut? I bought my dish to put them in. Oh my god. In your chain. Did you oh bring any quarters? The donuts? I, 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 I exchanged chains. The donuts are 50 yeah. cents each. I got chains over. A cup of coffee is a quarter. Come on, sit in. Sit down. Are you ready yet? Yeah. We've had so much company here. We have. We didn't get started on time. How are you? How are you doing? Oh, those look good. I saw. I heard Joey was up this year. He was up. The kids were all up. Yeah. Yeah. There was young Joey and what's his father? Ladies first, you know. Oh my goodness. Can I have a little more cinnamon on my top? Thank you, thank you. Jesus. <laughs> you want a cup of coffee? Of course. Mmm. You want them? No, thank you. Delicious. Hey, Donald, good? You want a glass mm. of milk or a cup of tea? Or? Not right now, thank you. Hey, it's Don. good though? It's edible? Don. Delicious. Don. Yeah, good. These two are real hot. Oh, nice. Those yeah, two are really hot. Just be careful. Doing maintenance. Oh, nice. That's Working on all the things. Did you try one, though? They're delicious. Did you dunk it in the coffee? Huh? Did you dunk it in the coffee? No, no, no. Those two closest oh. to you are real hot. Be careful on those. Can you ever put down? Yeah, those just yeah, came out. Yeah, not very often. But... What can I get you, Ellen? No, I just want to see the process. Oh, oh. I mean, how did you get the shape? Oh, okay. Right here. I'll show you. Right over here. Oh, yeah. This is a donut cutter. Oh, yeah. And oh. there's a different donut cutter, too. But that's the one I... It's not wow. here, I get dough. But I got the way that whatever the system is. And what's this? You, just, uh, yeah. bag, you don't want to read this. Uh, that's, that's oh, you want to wait watches? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm cooking them in pure lard, which clogs the arteries like crazy. You can have one. <laughs> <laughs> this is my fifth one already. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> How many would you eat if your wife wasn't here? Probably couldn't cook them fast. They're that good, huh? They're that good. <laughs> so you've never found one that's kind of raw in the middle? No. That's good. I think they are good. I think this finishing touch and the sugar and the cinnamon and the nutmeg really adds to it. Yeah. Daddy, where's the maple syrup in the dough? I, yeah, I put it, I've never done it before with the maple syrup. Yeah. And, and probably the cinnamon nutmeg overpower it so you don't really taste it that much. I don't know. It's a wonderful flavor. Yeah, or oh, you do taste it. Or you do. No, it's there. I, I can taste it. Yeah. Wow, this, this one batch made a whole pile of them. Jeez. Look pretty good. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. There's another curler coming for Greg. Look at that. That's quite a plate of donuts. <laughs> I'm hoping the curler's cooked through. It's a little bit thicker. Did you guys get homemade donuts growing up? Mother made them. Homer? No. I think she made them with lard too. Really? <laughs> oh yeah. The old timers always yeah. use lard. So it makes it so good. Yep. They're really good on a camping trip, even without the lard. They were still good on a camping trip. But if he heats it up to the 350, it doesn't suck in the grease. Oh, yeah. so it's healthy then. Yeah, then it's, <laughs> it, if you get it, if you cook it over 350, it's considered a health food. Yeah. Well, under 350. Under, under it's. <laughs> under, you had a problem. See, I can't cut another one there, so I gotta. Bring this all together and and just keep doing it till it's gone, huh? Till it's gone, yeah. And then what's left, you eat raw, or you make a donut stick, right? <laughs> right, you can make a crawler. I guess two pounds of lead for the frying worked out really well. Okay. About a ten-inch, twelve-inch pan. Yeah, that's got to be it. 12 inch, maybe. Who's this guy? <laughs> huh? Billy? Hey, Darren, you're not very good. You might as well go home. That's what I've heard. Tastes like it, but good, right? <laughs> <laughs>
Sorry. <laughs> Come on in. Grab a chair. Grab a donut. You want a cup of coffee? No. How about you, Timmy? <laughs> What's up, bud? Another day. They're, they're not very good, guys. Sorry. <laughs> he saw your charmies, and they're all going to be gone. I haven't had one yet. Drive a couple of them in you, see if they're any good. These ones are the health food ones. <laughs> Is it hot? No, okay. What do you guys think? Mm -hmm. Is that the best donut you've ever had? Oh, I'll never eat them again. <laughs> he probably liked Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, how many of you have? He only it took. He only tried one. I said my wife wasn't here to platter. It wouldn't be any for you. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing DJ said when he pulled in. <laughs> they probably made over twenty, right? Try to fill some with jelly mix, but. <laughs> Try to fill them with jelly next time, the donuts. The donuts. Yeah. They want them filled with jelly next time. Oh my god. You want raised donuts the next yeah, time? Donuts with jelly in them. Okay, alright. I'll tell you, I'll let somebody sit over here if you're too tempting. You don't want to sit near them? No, I'll go. Here, Donald, I'll give you a chair over here. Well, we finalized on cooking all the donuts. We got a hell of a mess here to clean up. Does. Flour goes everywhere, but who cares? The donuts, they, they're raving about the donuts. I don't know if they're lying to me or what, but uh, we'll, we'll see. You know, you never, never bitch about the cooking. 